Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Dan from Firestorm Gear. Uh, we did receive a, a small shipment in from Rothko. Um, some of them are special orders, but uh, I wanted to let everybody know because um, I haven't done one of these in quite a while, uh, and I just wanted to go over um, uh, one of the unboxings. Uh, so, without further ado, let me uh, switch the camera around here. Unfortunately, I'm the cameraman and the the unboxer today, but uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch the camera around, go through the box, and show everybody what I got, or what is going to be available to store, I should say. All right, so let's open this guy up. There we go. All right, we've had a number of people ask for um, bandanas, so we did get some. Uh, larger bandanas in. This one just happens to be uh, just a solid black color. We actually had some people ask for just like a solid black and solid color bandanas. So we have um, black, we have uh, red, and we have white. Let's put these to the side here. We also got some of them in that are um, some of the digital camo colors. We also got ones in that, these are awesome, um, that have uh, 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 firearms on them like this. So you have your, you know, your shotguns, your, uh, your AUGs, your um, AR-15s, your MAC-10s, and blah, 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 blah. But uh, yeah, so these are kind of cool. We got them in uh, green and black, and uh, black and gray. Um, more of the digital, so that's your basically like your marine digital or woodland digital. Then you have your ACU, you have a um, like an urban digital, there's a um, an urban camo, and a couple more, and then of course for. Uh, the ladies out there who like the pinks, uh, we also have uh, some of the uh, pink camo as well. So really, really nice, uh, uh, nice quality. Um, they are, um, oh, there we go. They are uh, uh, a a material that allows you to the material to breathe. So if you wrap this around your head or anything like that, it's not going to make it uh, stiflingly hot. But you can see here, oops, sorry, you can see here, um, this is quite a, a large size bandana. So a lot of things that you can do with this guy, um, really cool. So we also got in some more of our tactical wraps. Um, this one happens to be the digital um, um, woodland camo. We have some of those. We got in, because these guys actually sell really, really well for us. They're really nice, too, because you have the ability, I don't know if you can see this or not, to wrap around your head. Um, wrap it around your head like, um, you know, basically almost as a hood. Wrap it around your face to keep dust out and uh, dirt and things. Wrap it around your neck to keep your neck warm. Um, so there's there's a number of different ways you can actually utilize these. They're almost like a... Um, if you can think of about like, like an infinity scarf or anything like that, it's basically this is a is a tube of material um, that's that's quite large, so you can actually wrap it around uh, your head and things like that to keep sweat out. Um, it actually works really really well in the summertime, just as well as it does in the wintertime. Um, in the wintertime, it keeps that 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 uh, cold air from hitting you in the face. Um, in the summertime, what this does is it gives you the ability uh, to have. Um, uh, to, to wick away that sweat uh, and also have the ability to uh, uh, just you know keep it cool uh, while you're mowing the lawn or out hiking or anything like that. So like I said these these are big sellers for us so we have a bunch of those. I'll set those off to the side real quick. Alright and then we had uh, some uh, gentlemen ask us for more uh, earth tone colors of our Shemags. Um, so our Shemags, um, these ones, we had the ones that were made in in um, 
in the Middle East. Um, these ones are actually made in India. They're a higher quality, so a thicker material. Um, and uh, some of the ones that we have in stock right now, sorry for keep putting my finger over the camera, are a lot of the colors. So a lot of the purples, pinks, um, oranges, uh, yellows, things like that, um, and that people uh, really like. Um, it's kind of a color scheme that not many people have. But we had some people ask for the, like I said, for the for the more earth tone colors. So I got uh, some of the OD greens, some of the tans. And these, like I said, these are a lot thicker material. Uh, just a, a better quality than our, than our previous ones. Um, some of the uh, some of the browns. And actually, one of the things that, that are really, really nice are actually the gray. So they actually offer a gray and black one as well. Um, in here as well, we have uh, some of our EMS shears. So these are actually really nice EMS shears. Um, what's nice about these is that they're almost like the, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the uh, penny cutting scissors. So you can literally like cut a penny with them. These are... Uh, the same type of thing, uh, in this case it will cut right through denim or any type of material, uh, work really, really well. Um, so these actually we've been selling out of quite a bit. Um, I have a number of different manufacturers who also uh, do the EMS shears. Um, these ones are a lower cost one, but they're just as good. Um, and uh, like I said, these ones I actually, uh, we, we only have one left, so I like to keep those in stock. Um, also have some of our um, some of our uh, stainless steel canteen cans. Uh, these are really nice because for stacking um, for the canteens, what they do is if you take a normal U.S. made canteen like we have, we have them in several different colors. We have them in the in the OD, the uh, flat dark earth, the black. Uh, we also have an aluminum one here. Um, but what they do is they're literally fitted to that shape. So that kidney style shape fits that perfectly. So what's nice about that is instead of having to have a, a space for your, for your um, uh, canteen, you can also have a space for the canteen as well as the cup uh, stacked together. So really nice design. I really like these. Like, like I said, the other nice thing about them is that they're stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about them rusting or anything like that. Now with stainless steel, they are going to be a little bit heavier. Um, sorry for keep spinning around here. But we also have them in aluminum as well. So the aluminum cups are a little bit lighter um, than the stainless steel. But like I said, the stainless steel are a little bit heavier, but you're not going to have to worry about rust or anything like that with them. So let me go back over here. And we got more of our, um, some of our, uh, our deluxe uh, five piece uh, uh, mess kits that uh, seem to sell quite well as well. Uh, they're aluminum so they're nice and light but they give you the ability to have a pan, um, a pot, a, you know, a pot lid, a cup, things like that and it all sits within one another. So really nice design. Uh, these sell quite nicely as well. Um, and then in this bag here I have no idea what's in here. So we will find out together. Ah! <laughs> okay, so that's one of the things about when I order stuff, I kind of forget what I ordered. <laughs> so, with this, um, we do sell the um, the dog tag chains um, for making, you know, doing your dog tags and whatnot. I got these in, which are uh, dog tags that have the USMC um, logo, the the, uh, the eagle and, and uh, globe and anchor. Um, to put around that so we don't have the ability to actually print on on dog tags so I thought in the interim uh, why not get some of these so we have the USMC ones and I got some of these which are really really nice uh, some of the POW MIA uh, so that you could literally use these um, on some of our dog tag chains let me put this over here show you where I'm talking about here we have our dog tag chains in black, and they come with the detachable uh, chain as well. We also have them in silver, so your standard traditional silver, as well as that lower chain 
uh, as well. But yeah, these would these are great, great quality. Um, they are screen printed, so they are very, very nice. Um, quite nice to be able to just uh, put around your neck. Uh, so, other than that, uh, that's basically this unboxing. Um, oh, sorry, forgot these. These are like uh, like a first aid kit, so they're they're for um, the outside of your first aid kit. They actually have a Velcro back on them. Uh, so that you can adhere them to your first aid kit just to identify very easily your first aid supplies and then um, uh, We have uh, also some more of the uh, some more of the flags as well. These uh, the flags seem to sell uh, really really well, so we get we do have quite a few um, uh, Velcro flags in both Normal and reverse a lot of people ask what the reverse is for um, When you're when you have these on your uniform for the people who don't know uh, the stars always lead. So if you have this on your left and right arm, the stars will always be. So basically, think about it: if you have a flagpole, and the flag's flying backwards. So as you're walking forwards, that's the way the flag would fly. So depending upon which shoulder you have it on, this will always be towards your front. So if you have this or this, it will always be dependent upon which which shoulder you have it on. So a lot of people ask about that and why we have reverse flags. It's not anything of disrespect or anything. A lot of people say that that's disrespectful. That is not. That is all dependent upon which side you you have it on and which side you're going to be wearing, which which arm you're going to be wearing it on. Uh, if you're going to be wearing it on your front, you just wear a normal. If you're going to be wearing it on your arms, you do have to have one for each side, and the the, the stars do have to lead. But in this case, I just want to show everybody too. <clears throat> we have. Anything from the uh, silver and gold trimmed flags to uh, full gray, um, uh, flat dark earth, green. We also have their PVC. Uh, these are nice PVC. They're actually made out of uh, like a rubber material or PVC material, but they're almost like rubberized. Um, these ones are basically just um, uh, embroidered ones uh, as well as the uh, blue and red line flags. Uh, so we do do a lot of, of blue line and red line flags, and then we have just the solid uh, blue line flags as well. Um, but really, really nice. These are all Velcro flags. Um, I also have over here as well the ability to do um, just the non-Velcro flags, so ones that you'd actually sew onto your uh, sew onto your uniforms and things. Um, but other than that, that's basically it for this uh, unboxing. I wanted to give everybody, like I said, just a, a rough overview of what we've gotten in. So. I do have to put all this stuff in the shelves. Uh, if you're out and about today, please stop in. We, uh, we are always getting new items in. We are always adding new uh, 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 material and items and all kinds of different stuff. Um, as always, we also have uh, some of our freebies that you can always grab when you come in, um, such as our Slip 2000. So whenever you're in, uh, go ahead and stop in, grab one of these or a couple of these guys. These are free samples. Um, the Slip 2000 is a great, great oil. Um, like I said, once you try it, that's why the reason why we have so many of them out and about. Uh, we have these here, and we also have them by our cleaning materials as well. So we have a full bin over here as well. Uh, these are great, great, it's a great, great uh, oil. It's good all the way from 110 degrees below zero all the way up to 1250 degrees without burning off. Great stuff. Uh, it's, we we're believe that once you try it, you're going to love it. Uh, we also have some of our free samples of our Flitz, uh, Flitz polish. So if you guys haven't tried this stuff, it works great on uh, knives and guns, but also, as it says here, plastics and fiberglasses, uh, fiberglass, I should say, and uh, stone and all kinds of different stuff. It's amazing stuff. It's a um, non-abrasive polish, um, and it works wonderfully. Um, I use this stuff a lot for our... Um, feed ramps on our guns um, to, to polish up that feed ramp really really helps with any type of, of binding or anything like that so really nice product um, and uh, uh, always as always like I said we always have a lot of other stuff and a lot of new stuff um, we're always adding more material all always adding more uh, inventory so stop in whenever you get a chance take a look around and uh, or just stop by to say hello we always appreciate people stopping in and, and just giving us, a, giving us a high. So, until next time, stay at the ready. This is Dan from Firestorm Gear. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.